Joanne Corcoran, a very, very warm Republican welcome. Thank you. Ni 
It's on shin. It's on shit as a as a in in I was thinking about the hunger strike today. People say a lot about the body, but don't trust it. I consider that there is a kind of fight indeed. Firstly, the body is under consideration. That is, mind. The mind is the most important. But then, where does this proper mentality stem from? Perhaps it is there you will see the rising of the moon. Perhaps.
still relevant 200 or more years after his death, to subvert the tyranny of an inexorable government to break the connection with England, the never-ending, the never-failing source of all our political evils, and to assert the independence of my country. And we stand here today for that same independence in Canada. I do not know, I do know that those who are left behind, those who survive, must, must take up the mantle and do the best we can in the era that we live in. We must lead, we must strategize and use tactics suitable and workable to the 21st century. That is the onerous task our fallen comrades leave to us. Now there are turning points in the nation's history that change the course of that nation. And despite the profound difficulties for many Republicans, the IRA statement of July the 28th, 2005, and it's crucial that this opportunity be grasped by Republicans and also by opponents. In the coming weeks, there will be renewed efforts to advance the peace process. Republicans have taken hugely important decisions. It is time for others to respond to like power. The challenges there, not just for the DUP, but the two governments that must deliver on their commitments to join the implement all other elements of the UK Union. Unionism must be shown that part of the to it lies in our strengths. Sinn Féin has become the largest nationalist party in the North. We became the third largest party in Ireland and strength to achieve that goal. We will only do that by leading with courage and imagination, by taking initiatives, and above all, always by holiday, to face each new situation, each new obstacle to overcome, in an open and imaginative way, which has proven the versatility and ability of the public and activists. There is no lack of work, I make no mistake. The effort the Republicans put into this struggle is the envy of political struggles the world over. Sinn <laughs> Féin has taken policies for achieving our Irish unity and independence, and all Ireland democracy and Ireland of equals. We will never again accept the status of second class citizens, North or South. But you do this too, have responsibility, and this includes the need to break the sectarian politics, the politics of domination. However, we are mindful that for many unionists, the change we embarked upon is a terrifying project, prospect. Change is always difficult. When taken in the context of a conflict resolution process, change can be traumatic. And this can be made even more difficult when there are those within the British political and military establishments who still want to hold on to the old heads. The effect of political policing over the last few years, especially when the institutions were collapsed, on a lie demonstrates the dangers. This is where the most serious threat to the peace process comes from at the present time. You need, you need to go further than the vitriolic and pathetic accusations of some popular media in the last couple of weeks to see that there are no depths to which their opponents won't last suit in their futile attempts to undermine the Republican struggle. I read some diary that written over the years, but the ridiculous attempt to attack the Republican integrity and credentials of our country and Martin McGuinness is no more than a clap trap. Those who had it, <laughs> those who peddle such propaganda are the ones without integrity. They are the heat contempt. And let's be clear that while tabloid journalists madly peddle these lies, it was elements within the DUP who pushed these guys into the press in their constant effort to destabilize the advance of power trend within the peace process. As you hear the strength, comrades, be sure that the panic of the opposition will become greater and the attacks are proportionately more vitriolic in principle. Mark is not the first to be the PM in such a manner and will not be the last. So when we gather here again in 2007, the general election of the 26 counties will be over and the new government formed. The outcome of this is far from certain at this time. But the fact is that the field of war and PD coalition is in deep trouble. The fact is that the policies being offered by Fianna Gael are a little different to those of the current government. And the fact is that the Labour Party is ruin the coalition with anyone to make up the number. Sinn Féin wants to be a government, not a circle. We 
want to see change in the here and now. We are about building a complete alternative to the kind of governance which presides over one of the wealthiest economies in the Western world and which is failing to deliver. Despite 15 years of unprecedented economic growth in the South, 15% of our children live in constant poverty. Patients are left for deaths and men in hospital trolleys. Remember that in 1980, there were over 17.5,000 acute hospital beds, now there are only 12,000, despite the fact that there's a greatly increased population. And if you're rich, you can jump the queue, of course, for treatment. And a queue you have to the poor is never ending. 44,000 families are on the social housing business, while building land around our cities is controlled by a small cartel of speculators who are able to do it because they are friends in high places. And to cap it all, the government hands over our natural resources to multinationals like Shell and then jails a few brave male men for standing up to the multinational company. The people we represent have rights, so does everyone on this island, to often serve alike. We have, like we've told, a vision. Our goal is an Irish unity that is inclusive, that everyone, including unions, will feel welcome in, that they are part of. There's much work to do, but we believe that we're in the countdown to a united Ireland. We believe that together we can be a great stretch forward and truly transform our society on this island forever. Is the British government up for this? Time will tell. Is the Irish government up for it? Let's test that. The Irish government has after all a constitutional prerogative to work for the United Ireland. There are simple things that government and the government can do, but inexplicably refuse to do. MPs elected in the six counties should be accorded speaking rights in the dog. Voting rights for presidential elections should be extended to citizens in the six counties. That's the action of these rights as a small beginning. The Sinn Féin offer it. The answer is a word. Unionist political leaders need to learn. The answer is an emphatic yes. Sinn Féin is up for making this work. Our activists and supporters are up for it. Is the IRA up for it? Who except the most fitly yelling and blind anti Republican elements? to doubt that the IRS suffered. The Republicans have stressed themselves repeatedly to put this process back on track. Sinn Féin has in this process to the end. We want the British government and the Irish government and the Unionists to work with us and finish the work we have all started. The length of the journey can be shortened and the ups and downs of the road can be smooth if we go at it collectively, if we do it together. All of you here today are part of the fastest growing party in Ireland. Whether it's here in Bromstown, or in Derry, or Upper Bond, or North Lampton, or Waxford, or Dublin, or Belfast, or South, or Mass, or Cork. And it's clear that Sinn Féin is winning more and more hearts, more and more hearts and men right across the island. Every day there are more and more Irish Republicans. We are building our political strength. The Republicans in that chamber have history. They learn from it and use it. That is why important initiatives have been taken on so many occasions. While units are fixated to slowing down for state and change, Republicans want more change, want to move on from the past. But there will be a need for more discipline and a well of patience by Republicans. More courage is called for. Those who have set their minds against change will be more provocative. The bigots and the secure class people write in the structure of change. They want to destroy rather than build. Their tools are bigotry, mistrust, political policing, Horrible of the attacks. They should be starved of anything that feeds that forensic. The Republicans have a better reason. And I am confident that we will build on our achievements and substantially increase our political strength. We must continue to build on that strength. The stronger we are, the closer our goal of a free, independent, and united Ireland will come. We face difficult challenges ahead, but also there are great opportunities. We stand on the threshold, I believe, of historic change. Standing on the deck of a ship heading in the battle, as we've told it, is one way to experience the historical moment. 
and many generations before us have struggled for a united Ireland. For hundreds of years we have struggled. It is, however, our generation who have the potential of achieving that goal. All struggles are won on the accumulation of many smaller battles. Do your bit, win your battle, and you will have brought the day of freedom of our country that much closer. Remember, our fallen comrades were ordinary people in extraordinary circumstances who rose to the challenge. There are young people here today who have that same ability. So go out and do what we do best. Our shed, simple men's family are right children. Thank you, Jerry. Now we have a winner of our annual bands competition. The winner of the Fairgill Carraher Memorial Trophy. Is the Ed O'Brien Republican Fruit Grand Not I'd like to call on Salem, the brother of Fergus, to present the show to from Kevin from the winning match. Congratulations to the Edinburgh Brown Cup of Group Band. Now, if I can call on the Burns Smoley Band from Armagh to play Aaron the Day. <laughs> 